camera's getting a little wet here. What's going on people with the tube? The last couple days have been kind of crappy. We had a bunch of snow come in the other day and the ground's just awful out here right now. Today we got a bunch of rain that's calling for rain pretty much all day. And I wanted to get out here and get you guys a video. So I'm over here at the pond. The creeks and stuff where the snow's melted has just risen the water levels there. And it's, it's a little too rough to fish right now, too tough of conditions. So I'm over here at a pond and we're gonna be targeting crappie, carp, and panfish of whatever species we can catch. Let's get at it. This is mini mite jigging a tube. It's got a pink jig head on it, white. Little, uh, white little rig there. Last time I was down here, I was using the same mini mite, just different collar. tell you it's starting to rain a lot more than what I anticipated I thought it was going to be like more of a light rain it's starting to pick up a little bit so I should have brought like a poncho or something with me slimy it's nice to see that stuff down there though it's usually a good indication well, there's something out there Sit there, see if he'll take off with her again. We got something laying probably about 15 yards out there. Got it. See what we got out there. And it looks like. Pretty nice crappie, black crappie, uh, spotted one. He hit it while she was laying down there. It's actually a pretty decent little crappie. I'll take a couple more of these guys any day. They are fun catching them. Once you find one, normally you got a few there. And this is just on the cast, it's just laying out there. I don't know, different times of year, like, they bite a little different, but when it's winter and you throw it out there and it's appealing to them, they'll kind of pick it up off the bottom. You'll see your line just straighten out or do a little bit of jumps. Missed that one. He hit it on the way down, and that's a bluegill. Oh, that is a big one. That is a hunk of bluegill right there. Look at that thing. Oh, man. And he demolished that. Check him out. He hit that on the drop there. Right whenever it was going down. That's a big bluegill. Or sunfish, I'm not really sure. I think it's uh, some kind of panfish. Back. It's pretty exciting. Deeper water. Kind of got me in a little bit of a bind here between all these trees. Got 
got one. Oh, it had a stick. Felt like a really lethargic fish, but you'll have that. We're gonna give her one last spot. I've walked all the way around the pond a couple times. And like I said, the weather sucks and it's not exactly warm. What the heck is this thing? I'm guessing it's just some kind of tampered meat or something that has like a little bit of stagnant green on top of it. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with it too long. And here comes the heavy rain. Yep, today is just not the best day to fish. I think I'm gonna get out of here now. I think I'm gonna go home and sit on the couch and do nothing and watch everybody else's videos. All right guys, so finally that's over with. <laughs> I'm probably going to be in sick. I was out there for probably about an hour and a half, two hours. And this is probably the worst conditions I've ever fished in. Well, that's negotiable. I fished in some pretty pretty crappy weather, but today's just the rain and all the, the muck in the air and the dirt from where all that snow melted. I was telling you guys in the very beginning of the video. It's just absolutely horrid around here. Our waters are really, really high and it prevents me from being able to fish any creeks for catfish or any river, any part of the river really. It's ridiculously high right now. You couldn't put a 10, 10 ounce sinker on and be able to stay on the bottom. And then to let alone finding a spot that's actually accessible from the bank from where the water's so high, that's, that's another challenge you'll be facing. I'm gonna post this video up anyway, just so you guys can see how the struggle around here has been. It didn't seem too bad catching a couple of those fish, but hey, what can you do? I mean, that bluegill was a nice size. <coughs> that bluegill was a nice size bluegill, and the crappie was pretty, pretty cool little catch. Not very big. I think the bluegill might have been bigger than the crappie, or it might be a sunfish. I really couldn't tell you. You guys just, if you know, comment down below and let me know what it was. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna head home and maybe put some warm clothes on or dry clothes rather sorry and probably drink some coffee and just be bored the rest of the day but anyways we'll catch you in the next one see you guys thanks for watching